If you go to videocopilot.net, uh, you'll be able to find Proceders for Cinema 4D, which is a preset of uh, Cinema 4D materials that you can install so that you can quickly apply them onto the materials that you design in Cinema 4D. This is also available for Elements 3D uh, for After Effects. So if you want to learn more about Element 3D and pro using Proceders over there, you can see my Element 3D tutorial as well. But anyways, let's go back into Cinema 4D. I've already installed Proceders onto my, onto my Cinema 4D. And once you install the preset, it'll appear over here. It'll appear over here or under create right over here under load material preset cinema uh, video copilot procedure so you'll be able to access all of these right over here so you can see that there are con there's concrete fabric ground and other sort of materials with which you can apply so let me just create something like a floor so i'm going to apply these materials and see how they actually look like so i'm going to go to create load material preset on video copilot Procedures, and then let's say I'm going to add in a ground right here, something uh, like pebbles, just like this. So this is my pebble, pebbles, just drag it over here. So you can see that immediately uh, my material has been added. So what I can do is now I can render this out and you'll be able to see how this looks. To make it even more better, I'm just going to use a physical sky. So you don't have to work very much. So it will really have the textures and everything just like that, as you can see, just in an instance. So now I'm going to bring in other materials such as um, a spear over here. Let me just drag this up and let me just add in a bit more segments to make it smooth. And then let's add in some materials over here on this one as well. So let me create a material. So under video copilot, you can see there's plastic, translucent and everything else right here. So let me use something like pool water right over here, drag it over here on and let me just render this out and let's see how that looks like over here. So you can see that now it gives a water like texture over to the spear over here as you can see. So it really looks really, really great and it didn't take much to actually do this. So you can see that the material looks great. So let me just use a bunch of materials and see how they look out over here. So I'm using copies of this and I'm going to create a few more materials over here. So I'm going to go for something like a metal and let me add in a material on this one right here. So you can see that that is how uh, it looks. You can actually work around with the uh, length and everything else over here as well. So let me just go over here on to create load materials. Let me select something like plastic over here and then bring in the plastic over here. So let me make another copy over here as well and create uh, load material preset. So create load material preset. Let's see what else I have over here. So I have something like a stone over here as well. So let me bring in the stone. So these are the materials I'm using right now. Let me use something like a translucent grass as well, glass as well. So let me go to the material preset. You can see that how easy it is. So it's just uh, click and drag. That's it. Translucent, uh, this coke, this frost, this glass. All right. So this is what I want, glass. So uh, once I keep everything out, uh, let me just delete this out. I don't, I only want one material on each one of these. Seems like I added in multiple anyways. So let's just remove all of it and let's see how it looks like when we render that out. So it renders out the detailed materials as you can see, and they look really great. You don't have to manually work around and then uh, spend too much time working around with this. Seems like we lost our water texture right over here. So let's add in our water back in. So uh, spear, there you go. There's the spear and there's the spear one. It's actually over here. All right. So let me just keep it over here. So might not seem really well right now, but it'll look great in a while. So once I render this out, you can see that this is how it looks. So let me just fast forward this to render it out all. And you can see the level of detail right here, as you can see. So this is the level of detail that you get with Procedure and you even have the texture and everything else. And you don't need to work hard to create uh, everything manually if we were to use this. And that is how you can use the Procedure inside of Cinema 4D, uh, which is available in Video Copilot. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.